Okay, everybody, so now that you played with Folded a little bit, I'll be announcing um, uh, some winners of that competition as well as just going over some of that next class. Uh, I need some time to review those quizzes. I'm going to allow you uh, the opportunity to start off today just playing around with this idea between the, the primary structure to that secondary structure to that tertiary structure of a polypeptide using the simple simulation, specifically focusing on um, how hydrophobic various side chains are, how water-fearing they are, um, and how hydrophilic certain side chains are, how water-loving they are, as well as the charges of those various side chains, um, just by making some trends uh, based in playing with the simulation. So I'm going to show you basically how it works and then prompt you in the, in the coming form to play with it. So first off, we have this long polypeptide chain. You can choose to either look at the amino acids via their three-letter designation or their one-letter designation. I kind of like that one-letter designation. Remember, these are all related to codons from unit one protein synthesis. Um, so first, we are going to choose whether or not we want that protein to be in a hydrophobic environment um, right here, like oil or whether we want it to be in a hydrophilic environment like water. Now remember, the water environment is very similar to the extra or intracellular space, and that uh, oil environment is very similar to that cell membrane. Ignore the vacuum there. Um, and we can choose whether or not we want to view the hydrophobicity, uh, the charge, or the charge and the hydrophobicity there. Um, I like the idea of charge and hydrophobicity. You can generate a random protein. You can make all of them hydrophobic. You can make all of them hydrophilic. You can make it mostly hydrophobic. You can make it mostly hydrophilic. Um, you can do a random mix. And once you do that, you're gonna hit this play button and then notice what it does, okay? All right. 